Welcome to Best Buds Gardening. I'm Julie. Here are some tips for beginner gardeners and a little refresher course for the rest of us. If you started your seeds indoors and now the weather is nice, do not put your plants in the ground right away. I promise you, they will die. They've had it pretty easy indoors. No scorching sun, no wind, and no insects. We have to get them used to being outside a little at a time over the course of about a week before planting them outside. This is called hardening off. The first day, put them outside in a shady area for one hour, then bring them back in. The second day, give them an hour of shade and an hour of sun, then bring them back in. The third day, you can give them two hours in some sunlight, then bring them back in. You get the idea. Gradual. If at any time your plants are looking a little worse for the wear, back up a step or two and slow it down a little. After your plants can be outside in six hours of sunlight for a couple of days straight and still look like they're doing okay, go ahead and plant them. They'll be ready to enjoy the summer. Know your average last frost date. Google what that is for your city and state. You certainly don't want things in your garden pretty well underway to have the entire thing wiped out by frost. Of course, it's still possible to have a frost after that date, but the chances drop to about 30%. And take a look at the back of your seed package. There's a wealth of information back there that can help you decide when you want to start your seeds. If you're using a seed starting mix, please be aware that it is composed of peat, which repels water. You can water this all day, it'll never get wet. Here's what you want to do. Put it in some kind of a container, add your water, and then we pretend we're making a meatloaf. And you just mix with your hand, make the meatloaf, and you'll feel this start to become wetter and wetter. You'll, you'll be able to feel the water working its way through. Then you're ready to fill your pots and plant your seeds. When deciding where you want to place your garden, take a good look around for shadows. Most gardens require at least eight hours of sunlight a day. So you'll want to avoid placing your garden under a tree, perhaps on the north side of your house, or in any spot that's not getting full sun. But sometimes you might just be planting one thing that doesn't require as much light. Cucumbers, for example, that only need about five hours of sunlight. So find out how much sunlight your plants require before deciding where to plant them. It's pretty hard to move them later. If your hose has been laying in the hot sun all day, the water inside that hose will be extremely hot. Way too hot for your plants. If you water them, with near boiling water, they won't appreciate it, and they might even die. Let the hose run somewhere for a couple of minutes until cool water starts to come out. Then you can water your plants with a cool, refreshing drink. And finally, have fun gardening. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. It's free, and you won't miss a thing.